It can be tough for some to witness the vulnerability and mortality of the people they thought would last forever. But it also reminds them of their greater purpose and the fact that they too may one day be just as vulnerable. For the one who acquires an illness or disability later in life, adjusting to a very different life and seeing the doors of your dreams close in front of your eyes can be very traumatic. But this too is all part of Allah's Qadr. You may have been meant to go through this for a higher purpose, or you were meant to be a beacon of hope for others going through similar or even worse. You may be the reason for a child to grow up grateful and humble instead of arrogant Stay and shallow, Stay or the catalyst for a community to become more accessible Chocolate. for people with all disabilities. <laughs> or perhaps it's simply the beautiful patience mind something would always distract me which was really really weird to me like now that my salah and i'm just putting it off <laughs> okay, we're gonna get her this guy no she's six months seven months that this is already bigger enough I got this for my sister. I don't know if she's gonna like it, but yeah, a little Target haul. County Road B East, then turn left onto County B Road West. And my mother are going to go um, on a walk. <laughs> and my sister too as well. I got this lip gloss um, from Sephora. And I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. Yeah, so let's go. Me and my family are getting ready for Ramadan. Hey. So we have been just honestly preparing. Um, we haven't done the deep cleaning that everybody's doing. We need to get on that. We need to get on that. Anyways, I'll see you guys back later. So this is my dinner for tonight.
are going to eat dinner. Eat dinner. To what? To what are we gonna do? You can eat there. My mom never speaks about anything she likes. She, yes, she likes gold, but she like hardly says anything out loud. So last night was it? Yeah, it was. Yeah, it was last night. She actually said she likes your red roses because we went um, Ramadan shopping yesterday, and she was just like out loud when she came home. She said she actually like she likes red roses. So I was like, in fun fact, my mom, her name is Kamar. Her real name is Miram. I won't say this out loud, but her, and then her nickname is Kamar. So I know I named her Kamar Rose. Can you imagine? Like that is so unique. I actually never seen anybody that has that name. Anyways, fun fact: Did you know that Costco delivers flowers? I didn't know that. So I wanted something like this. I have to get this to focus. I wanted something like that, but 150 is crazy for flowers. So I got her something like that, but with my preferred budget. Um, and it's actually coming. I'll show you guys. So I'll see you guys back later. I'm so glad I didn't put my mom's phone number down because if they literally just sent me. They confirmed, and it just says that like you have a gift on the way. I'm just like. I'm so glad. Anyways, I'll see you guys back later. We did some Ramadan cleaning yesterday. Um, and yeah, so I'm just going to go do some homework and editing today. It looks so pretty. I told my brother to actually bring me these because I don't have any other vases. I used the other two I had. So, yeah. It's actually not that bad. Hello, hello. Good, good morning, guys. So right now it is... So right now it is... 12. I woke up around 5 for Sahur. And then I was up until 8 o'clock. I took a little nap. I woke up around 11. Um, I'm just gonna make my bed right now and start my day. On Mubarak, I forgot to say this, but I hope the Sarbadan brings you guys nothing but all of us, nothing but the best, and yeah. Put this in. Boiling water in here. I'm just gonna put my shrimp in there. That's it for like 20 minutes, and then yeah. I don't 
happened so easy? Why is this happening? Why now? Why me? Does this start with your parents? Or your grandparents? Or even your ancestors? Imagine the conversation. It was a lot and nothing else. I was so tired of just eating plain dates, so I made these. I'm gonna put them in the fridge. Oh no, 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 Greg. Oh, Greg got destroyed. I'm so mad. I feel like I wanted to take a nap, but there's just no one home. It's just me and my little sister. So we're just gonna watch something. Sahur. I ate sahur and I just cleaned up so we're just gonna go make wudu and pray Fajr and probably just go back to sleep If you don't have this in your bathroom, you're missing out. This has been my favorite lip gloss, especially when you're fasting. I'm supposed to take a nap, but I'm gonna pray Salatul Taha first. <sighs> I'm gonna pray Salatul Taha and then I will probably take an, an hour nap. Change of plans. Me and my mom were supposed to go on a little mini walk, but my sister wants to go to this furniture store because she is getting married soon. So we're just gonna go to a furniture store. Anyways, I will see you guys back later. My star is already made, so I'm not gonna be too much worried about what I'm gonna eat. Yeah. Strive harder, but temptation still comes your way. Your old sins seem to keep resurfacing like test after test. Didn't Allah say that one step towards him will cause him to come to you with speed? Why does it feel like the temptations are coming at you just as fast?
And when you continue to try to not be deflated and make reaching out to him a part of your regular routine, sometimes your heart turned out they look so cute. Like I actually love them. And if the path of risk is blocked by his wisdom, so for your parents. In fact, what if you were the sustenance they needed at a time when other doors were shut? God has appointed a special angel as the caretaker of the womb. And he would say, my Lord, it is now a drop of fluid. My Lord, it is now a clot. My Lord, it just became a lump of flesh. And then once Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala decides to give it its final shape, the angel says, my Lord, is it male or female? 